Welcome back to another TrackMan tutorial video. Recently we did a brief overview on shot analysis in TrackMan Performance Studio on the PC. Today we're going to dive a little deeper and take a look at how to send reports and screencasts. Whether you're an instructor with students or just your day-to-day -day golfer trying to get a little bit better, both screencasts and reports are valuable ways to share that data that you track here in shot analysis and send it to yourself or your students so they can view it on the go. Let's head over to the PC and take a look. So today I have Brady coming in for a little lesson. The first thing we need to do is start shot analysis and verify that our track man is calibrated on this target image screen. Then we can press continue, choose his profile, and choose a club. Now let's have him hit some shots. While he does so, it's really important to mention that in order to send screencasts and reports, your track man does need to have a current software license. Without one, you only have the capability to save data locally to your PC. Now that the lesson is over, let's go ahead and send Brady a report. You can do so by clicking the icon in the bottom right hand corner that says create a report. Then it'll ask if you want to send a single or a group report. I choose group since I want to include all the clubs that he hit and press OK. Here we get to see a preview of the report before we send it. On the top of the preview is a text box where you can add a customized message for the recipient. If you scroll down a little bit, you get a view of the range and all of your clusters. Below that are the different groups of shots that you hit. One feature that a lot of people miss is the ability to change what columns of data are viewable in the report. All you have to do is click change data in the top left corner of the cluster and then you can select which data tiles that you would like to add by highlighting it and then clicking the add button. It's also useful to point out that no matter which data tiles you choose before sending the report, the recipient can always go back and edit whichever data tiles they'd like to see as well. Once you're satisfied with the data tiles chosen, you can click the X in the top right. Scrolling back towards the top, you'll see right above the range are five different tabs. First is the dispersion, second is trajectory, third is the optimizer. In order to use this, you'll need to select a specific shot and normalize the data. In order to do so, please scroll to the bottom of the report and check the box. Then scroll upwards and select a shot. Doing so will load that shot's data into the optimizer. You may also notice that right above the optimizer, you have the ability to choose between optimizations for low, mid, and high trajectories. The fourth tab at the top of the report shows club data for specific shots, and the fifth tab shows any swing videos that may have been included in the report. At this point, we're ready to share this report with Brady. In order to do so, click the share button at the bottom of the screen. Click yes if you'd like to upload the swing videos to my TrackMan, and finally click upload. At this point, it's really important to point out that that report will not send until TrackMan Performance Studio is connected to the internet. If you click the gear icon in the top right to go to the settings menu, and then on the left hand side click the share tab, you can see that TrackMan Performance Studio shows as offline. This is most likely due to the fact that our PC is only connected to our TrackMan's Wi-Fi, which does not produce any internet access. In order to fix that, head down to the network settings on your taskbar in the bottom corner of your screen, and switch over to a network that you know provides internet access, like your home or shop Wi-Fi. Once we successfully get connected to that new network, you can see TrackMan Performance Studio shows us online, and that report immediately sends. Now, if you're interested in sending a screencast, the first thing worth noting is that you will need a microphone. Not all PCs have one, but our software does require it in order to record a screencast. In order to start recording a screencast, click the screencast button in the bottom right hand corner. This should bring up a window where you can change the title of the video and even test your microphone. Once you're done with that, you can click record to start the process. Let's record a short one for Brady, that way he has a recap on his lesson today. Hey 
Hey Brady, good work today. I just wanted to go over a couple things you can see here. Um, I know we've been working on those tight little draws. You can see here with our 8 iron, we're not struggling nearly as much to get that face to path a little left of our path. But with our longer irons, our 5 iron, we are struggling leaving that face open a little bit. So really want to drive home, keeping that face closed at impact, and you should see that ball turn over. Once I was done, I clicked the stop button in the bottom right hand corner, which ended the recording. What follows is a screen where you can preview the screencast that you just recorded. In the bottom right hand corner is a discard button if you're not happy with the screencast, or the share button if you want to send it. Since this one looks pretty good, let's go ahead and hit the share button and send it on over to Brady. Once again, you can go into the Share tab in Settings to check the status of whether or not the screencast has been sent. And now that we're done, we can hit the Home button in the top left corner, save our data, and that way we can always go back to review it if we need to in the future. Hopefully that shed a little light on the process of how to send reports and screencasts. As always, if you have more questions, please feel free to check out some of our other tutorial videos or contact our support line. Bye now.